to the raid for 2020, former Vice President Joe Biden defending himself against an accusation of inappropriate touching. And this morning, others are coming to his defense, including the wife of former Defense Secretary Ash Carter. Rafael Rodriguez has more. Around the country, a technical outage has been impacting major airlines and causing flight delays across the nation. According to the F state, a major change to criminal law there aimed at preventing the deportation of certain immigrants. Peggy Carranza has the details from the Big Apple. Coming up, a horrible accident leaves a little girl... Welcome back to You News. Lawyer Michael Avenatti is scheduled to appear in court today in Santa Ana, California, to answer to questions or charges that he fraudulently obtained $4 million in bank loans and pocketed $1.6 million that belonged to a client. Avenatti searched for a driver involved in a hit and run that was caught on camera. The car speeding across a lawn and hitting a little girl, leaving her with serious injuries. Eileen Cardet has all the details. Houston, more chaos involving cars on Saturday. A woman will tell you why an American man was... And welcome back. We have so much more. Police in Colombia, the second largest city, have arrested a California man for allegedly offering cash to girls as young as... Venezuela's leader, Nicolas Maduro, has announced a 30-day plan to ration electricity. This after recurring blackouts have left many in the dark, along with causing major water service disruptions. Nicolas Maduro says the plan will focus on getting water to the people. He ordered schools to remain closed and to reduce daily working hours. And as all this takes place and millions of Venezuelans struggle to survive there, Maduro continues to accuse Washington of sabotaging the country's power grid, but many energy experts believe neglect and mismanagement are the true cause of the country's electricity problems. Earlier today, we spoke to Frank Fannin. He's the assistant secretary at the Bureau of Energy Resources about Venezuela's energy crisis. And, uh, even hospitals are struggling. Some staff members referring to the war zone conditions they're being forced to work in. What's worse, as Mike Imperiano explains, workers who speak out face dismissal and even threats to their safety. To hear those stats, to watch those images, no child should be going through a situation like that. It's really heartbreaking. Thanks so much. And after the break, it's that time. Let's now go to Annabelle Sedano with today's tech report, including details on World Autism Day. Annabelle? Annabelle, you too. Now a look at the environment in Italy. A sperm check in with Aranza Loizaga. She's got a preview of what's coming up during the second hour of it. As President Trump ramps up his border wall battle, the Pope is now waiting as minutes of the vaccine. Thank you, Aranza. We'll be tuning in. And also coming up next, now we head to New York, actually, where a Mexico native with a love of sweets has taken the Big Apple by storm. Anna Barbi spoke with pastry chef, restaurant owner, and author Fanny Gerson about her vision and what it takes to make it in the big city. And so successful. I love those stories, and I also love ice cream. And coming up, Nico Cantor joins us with the Welcome Back to You News. And now let's go to Nico Cantor for a complete recap of the and now moving on, turning to Hollywood. After some big hits such as Beetlejuice, Batman, and Batman Returns, Tim Burton and Michael Keaton are back together again, and this time for Dumbo, which opened up in theaters this weekend. Our Luis Sandoval is in Los Angeles, California, and he sat down with the two to talk about this reinvented Disney hit. I'll have to set a day aside to go watch the film. Looks like a good family film. And finally, music fans, this is for you, a musical to go watch. That's all the time that we have for the first hour of you news. So stay tuned for the second hour. We have much more information coming up next today with Aranza Loizaga. And remember, you can always follow us on social media at Univision News. Thanks so much for watching.